Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Technical Specs. In the last video, we have discussed about how we can download or install Android Studio in our Windows or Mac. You can check the link of that video in the i tab and description of this video. So in this video, we are going to see how we can start a new project in Android Studio. So to start the project, just uh, check the icon of the Android Studio and click double on the Android Studio icon. There you can see the dialog box open for Android Studio. Here we can create. Here we have option to create new project. So to create a new project, just click on this button new project simply. Now in this screen, you can see we have different activities. We need to select any one to start the project, right? Here you can see on the left side, these screens are basically for phone and tablets. Similarly, we have option for VR OS. Like if you have a watch and you are going to develop software for that, then you can use this VR OS. And again, similarly, then this is for TV, Android TV, and this is for automotive. In our project, we are going to select phone and phone and tablet. Okay, and here we will select empty activity. So, friends, you might think, what is empty activity, right? So very first we should know what these activities are. So these activities are nothing just an screen when an user open the app it will display this screen. Okay. So in empty activity we will have a blank screen to display. Okay. If uh, talking generally in major cases we use um, empty activity to start the project and then inside it we writing our rest of the code. To fill it up okay so here select empty activity and click on next button here just uh, name your application what you want to add the name of your application like in my case I am just adding my first application and inside it we have package I am not going to change it anything inside it I will explain you about this in a little bit below this we have a save location this basically shows the path where application will save okay if you want you can change from here okay below it we have language so make sure to check java from these two options java and kotlin okay because we are going to code for our android app in java language okay below it you can see here is minimum sdk right sdk means simply the version of the android where the list the app can work with so, uh, here i selected lollipop so it means it will not work below it like in kitkat jellybean you can see here below it it is showing your app will run approximately 98.1 percent of devices so i think it is best choice for us because it covers all of the 98% of the devices. Now let's discuss about the package name. So what is package name and why do we need it? So for this, let's open Chrome. I am going to open google.com. So friends, just imagine why when I search google.com, it opens this page. Because the google.com is uniquely mapped for this website, right? And in other words, we can say google.com is the domain name for this website. So similarly in Android, the package name is the domain name of any application. Don't be confused here. Let's open Play Store here. Any of the app you want to open, you can open it. Let's suppose I open Netflix. Okay. So when I open this app, here in the URL you can see id is equals to com.netflix.media client so this is basically com.netflix.media client is the domain name for this app netflix okay so similarly for this app this package name is the domain name of that app okay so this is how friends google play understands which app to display to the user 
द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस पैकेज नेम विल ऑलवेज बी यूनिक ओके फॉर इच ऐप आफ्टर ऑल दिस जस्ट क्लिक ऑन फ्रीज बटन सो फ्रेंड्स यूर यू कैन सी आवर एंड्रॉयड प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप इज स्टार्टेड नाउ यू कैन सी यर आवर क्रेडल इज बिल्डिंग सो नाउ फ्रेंड्स यू कैन सी आवर ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड फाइल्स आर एडेड इन आवर प्रोजेक्ट we will discuss about each and every file in our next videos so to check this app is whether completed or not we need to use the emulator emulator is basically a device which is present in the local device it is basically same like a phone but it is virtually present in the local device okay so friends to create an emulator in an android studio project we just need to click here i have already created a device before of my name my device so to create other emulator just click on device manager i have already added a device my name my device so for to check this project i am going to create a new device so for that just click on this button click create device and from here you can select any of your device let's suppose i am going to select pixel xl and then just click on next here you can set your device name any of your choice let's suppose i am going to set my new device this name will be my new emulator name after entering the name just click on button finish so now friends you can see i have a new device in my Android Studio of name my new device which I just added. So to check our app in our new emulator, just go here and select your device. This one is my latest device which I just added, and then just click on Run App. So now, friends, Gradle building running is started. So friends, our new emulator, my new device is just launched. let minimize it first to view it clear you can see it it is just starting it may take some few seconds more let wait for it so now friends you can see we have an empty activity inside it we have a text hello world let me zoom it this is the empty activity and this is our hello world which is coming from the layout file i am going to show you from where it is coming let me minimize it you can see here we have a text view in our layout file and the text is hello world which it is showing in our emulator okay in other words friends we can say our main activity is launched with this only screen okay so friends that's all in this video in our next video we will discuss about structure of our android project in details and last if you find this video helpful then like this video and if you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and for notification of our latest videos don't forget to hit the bell icon